Hi everybody, my name is Tammy Sanders and I'm the creator behind Learning and Teaching with Preschoolers. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking everything Trello. How am I using it in my classroom to keep me organized? So in today's conversation or topic, we're going to be talking about how I'm using it to organize all of my lesson plan ideas. It's a place that I'm going to be able to house all of my ideas that I'm collecting from all the different forums, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. A colleague of mine might have emailed me something with a link of saying, hey, check out this project. I think you'd really like it. So it's not my curriculum, but it's a place where I can house my ideas that I like to do during my learning center time. So when my kids are at free choice time, work time, outside time, wherever time that you have as a free time that you're enhancing their learning environment. These are the ideas I'm talking about. It has nothing to do with my curriculum, even though I try to pair it with my curriculum. So here is my lesson plan um, Trello board. And here's the thing. Each one of these columns is its own board that you can scroll through. So I've set up all my boards to match my curriculum that is implemented by my school district. So I know these are the things that they want me to cover. I'm using my Trello board to help me enhance my curriculum based on what we need to do that's more play-based learning for my children. And that's why I'm doing it during my learning center time. So, what does that look like? So here I have up all my boards. So here's my September board, let's say. So these are all of my ideas. So I really, really like how bright and colorful this All About Me project is. I've done All About Me projects that are similar to this one, but I typically don't make them bright like this, but this one just kind of really stood out to me. So if I click on this picture or on this card that's in my board, I can see where I got this information from. So I can click on her link and I can go, gee, how did she create this? Um, what did she use? such and such. So it looks like she's just has a printable that she has and that she's printed it on some bright paper. She has these questions that go along with it. And look, it's free. So if I wanna do this, I can download it and it's free. Win-win for me. But I always like to um, have the link of where I found my resource from so that I can always go back and check. So here's one of my favorite Instagram one ladies that I follow and this is Katie from the Pre-K Wolfpack. So if I click on her picture, I can see, okay, here's this, but if I really want to see the detail of her project, I can click on her link. So here's her link and I can see, oh wow, those are chalk markers. I can read about what she's saying about the chalk markers. Look, she even includes a link for where I can get it. And she's also including uh, an idea of where she's getting her acrylic frames from. So this is all information that I need to have in order to go back and be able to do it in my classroom. So I know I need when I'm looking at that, it's like, ooh, I need to make on my list of need to get, I need to get some chalk markers if I want to do that project. So chalk markers. I can go to the dollar store, dollar, dollar tree frames. So here is my running list of things that I need to get for any of these ideas here that I decide to pick and put on my lesson plan. 
So it's just kind of, it gets really confusing. Like I have Pinterest and I have boards on there, but it starts getting so full and so many ideas. I have my um, assistants that work with me. They'll send me maybe a text message. So I end up having all these ideas all over the place and I get really confused and I get overwhelmed. So that's why I started using Trello. And I want to show you how I did do this. So let's look at Katie again. Let's go back to Instagram. Let's look up Pre-K Wolfpack. Pre-K. There she is. She pops right up. I remember seeing on here, she had a really cute family idea with houses and the little lakeshore people counters. I have those lakeshore people counters. This would be something that would be easy for me to be able to throw out real quick in my learning centers when I know I'm having to teach about family. So let's keep scrolling through. Oh my goodness. See, this is why I like to say, but I want to just show you guys how I'm doing it. So let's see. Oh, here they are. See, here's the really cute little Lakeshore people. I have the Lakeshore people. It's a butcher paper thing. It could be counting. Um, we could do patternings, whatever. So what I do is I get my snipping tool because I'm on my computer or you can just screenshot it. So I'm going to get my snipping tool. I'm going to go new. I'm going to make my screenshot of it. I'm going to save it to my folder that I have in my OneDrive just because I like to keep it all in one place. Um, I know it's going to be for family, so family, and it's going to be people counters. People counters. Save. So now when I go here to my Trello board, I can add my card. So add a card. And no, wait, I want to add it over to family. Add a card, and we're going to go people slash family home counting. That's the name of my card. I'm going to add my picture to it, which I'm just going to go right here, and it has a little paper clip. I'm going to add it. I know I have it in my computer on my share drive, which it also is attached to my phone, which is also attached to my, um, my iPad that I use. So here's the little counters. So I want to also include her link because if I use it, and it's like, wow, that was great. I really want to thank her for providing me with this really great activity. So I want to copy her link, copy, and I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to put it down into an activity, and I'm just going to paste that link that way. I have it. I know I can go back to this. I know I can send Katie a message. I can comment on her post and say, hey, brilliant idea. It worked out fantastic for my classroom. So basically, that's what I do. So when I'm getting information from my assistants or other things that go, wow, that fits perfectly with the units that we have to do for our district, I'm going to pluck it into my Trello board so I remember. That way, I have one spot to look for all of those fantastic ideas that I've collected everywhere. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys liked that. Um, Trello is free. I will include the link down below. You just sign up for free. You can share these boards with people of your team so they can add to it if they want or they can look at it. I'm using Trello for many different things in my classroom to keep me organized. I like it because it really syncs well with all of my devices. I can have it on my computer. I can have it on my iPhone. I can have it on my iPad or any devices that I'm using. So I can access this information anywhere, anytime. So that's one way I'm using Trello in the classroom to keep me organized and on task for my planning needs. Until next time, guys, this is Tammy. Bye.